Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Morgan Rose pseudo inverse is a generalization of the concept of the inverse of an invertible square matrix. Here we have a general matrix A of size M by N, and its elements can generally be complex valued. The pseudo inverse is a matrix of size N by M. The pseudo inverse should satisfy those four properties. A times the pseudo inverse of A times A should give us A. Note that if the matrix A is square and invertible, if we have A, A inverse A, then these two guys will give identity and we have A. The Morgan Rose pseudo inverse times A times the pseudo inverse, this should give us the pseudo inverse. For an invertible square matrix, if we have an expression that looks like this, these two guys give identity and this is equal to the inverse of A. In the general case, we want the pseudo inverse of A times A times the pseudo inverse of A. This will be a matrix of size N by M. We want it to be the pseudo inverse. We want the pseudo inverse times A or A times the pseudo inverse. We want this N by N matrix and this M by M matrix to be Hermitian. The first order of business is to show the uniqueness of the Morgan Rose pseudo inverse. If we impose these conditions, then there can only be one pseudo inverse for each matrix A. So to prove this, suppose that A1 dagger and A2 dagger are the Morgan Rose pseudo inverses of matrix A. So this means that each one of those guys will satisfy the four properties that we have here. So A, A1, dagger A, this should be equal to A. A1, dagger A, A1, dagger should be equal to A1, dagger. Then A1, dagger A, and A, A1, dagger are both Hermitian. And the same applies to A2. So A, A2, dagger A, this is equal to A. A2, dagger A, A2, dagger, this should be A2, dagger. And then A2, dagger A, and A, A2, dagger should both be Hermitian matrices. Now let's start with A, A1, dagger. A, A1 dagger. Now this A here can be written in terms of A2 dagger. So the first thing, I will use this property and write A, A1 dagger as A, A2 dagger, A, A1 dagger. Here we replaced this A by A, A2 dagger A, which should be A if A2 dagger is indeed a Morgan Rose pseudo inverse of matrix A. Now this matrix and that matrix are both Hermitian matrices. So I can write down them as A, A2 dagger, all Hermitian, and this one is A, A1 dagger Hermitian, because both are Hermitian matrices. Now, if we have two matrices, X, Y, and then we take the Hermitian, then this is Y Hermitian times X Hermitian. So here, we can just have one bracket, and we have Hermitian, and then we write down this square matrix first. Note that this is M by N, this is N by M, so this is a square M by M matrix, and the same is here. So first, we write down this, because when we take the Hermitian, X, Y, all Hermitian is Y Hermitian, X Hermitian. So here we will write A, A1 dagger, and then A, A2 dagger. But then, if you look here, A, A1 dagger A, because A1 dagger A is a pseudo inverse, a Morgan Rose pseudo inverse of A, this is equal to A. So in this bracket, we have A, A2 dagger, which is a Hermitian matrix. So this is equal to A, A2 dagger. So we started with A, A1 dagger, and this is equal to A, A2 dagger. Now, Let's investigate A1 dagger A. And we will repeat the steps. Now, we take A1 dagger and then take this A and write it as A, A2 dagger and then A. Then this matrix and that matrix, both are Hermitian matrices. So this is A1 dagger A, Hermitian, A2 dagger A, Hermitian. And then we can just have one bracket Hermitian. We take this guy and write it first, A2 dagger A, and then A1 dagger A. Now this product here, A, A1 dagger A, by the properties of the Morgan Rose pseudo inverse, this should be A. So this is A2 dagger A Hermitian, and A2 dagger A is a Hermitian matrix. So this is A2 dagger A, which means that A1 dagger A is A2 dagger A. Okay, now we have our final step to show that A1 dagger must be equal to A2 dagger. Okay, so take A1 dagger, okay. And from this property, A1 dagger is A1 dagger, then A, A1 dagger. Okay, but then we prove that A, A1 dagger is A, A2 dagger. So what I can do here is that I can replace this by A, A2 dagger. But also we have that A1 dagger A is equal to A2 dagger A. So here we have A1 dagger A. So I can write it as A2 dagger A, and then we have A2 dagger. A2 is a more rose pseudo inverse. And so this should be equal to A2 dagger. So these guys must be the same. This proves that if we define 
a pseudo inverse of the matrix with these four properties the pseudo inverse is unique second point is to express the more general pseudo inverse using the singular value decomposition the svd of matrix a so matrix a it has this reduced svd u s v hermitian a is m by n say that r is the rank of a u is of size m by r v hermitian is of size r by n between u and v hermitian there is the diagonal matrix s of size r by r on the main diagonal of s we have the strictly positive singular values of matrix a note that the columns of u and v are also normal so we have u hermitian u this is identity r by r and v hermitian v this is identity r by r claim a dagger is v s inverse u hermitian to verify this claim we need to show that v s inverse u hermitian satisfy the four properties of the more benrose pseudo inverse let's say the first one we should have a a dagger a is equal to a so let's take a and then take this guy v s inverse u hermitian a now write down a in terms of its reduced svd so u s v hermitian and then we have v s inverse u hermitian and then a is u s v hermitian this identity and here we have also another identity. And so this is equal to U S S inverse S V Hermitian. So this is equal to U S V Hermitian. And this is exactly matrix A. Now, let's check the second property that A dagger A, A dagger is A dagger. So take this quantity here, V S inverse U Hermitian. Then here we should have A and A is U S V Hermitian. And then we have this V S inverse U Hermitian. We should get this if this is the more Ben Rose pseudo inverse. Let's see. These two guys give identity of size r by r, and again here we have identity. So this is v, and then s inverse, and then we have an s here, and then we have s inverse, and then we have u hermitian. So this is v. These two guys give identity. We are left with one s inverse u hermitian, and this is what we have here. Now is a a dagger and a dagger a hermitian matrices? Let's see. So if we take a dagger a, or let's say that we take this thing that is claimed to be a dagger we are doing the verification v s inverse u hermitian if we multiply by a so this is v s inverse u hermitian and then a is u s v hermitian these two guys give identity and then s inverse times s give another identity and we have v v hermitian v v hermitian is a hermitian matrix if we take v v hermitian hermitian this will be v hermitian hermitian which is v and then v hermitian so this is a hermitian matrix finally we have a and then v s inverse u hermitian so this is u s v hermitian v s inverse u hermitian these two guys will give identity s s inverse will give identity and we have u u hermitian which is a hermitian matrix so this is indeed the more general pseudo inverse okay so if this is the reduced svd single value decomposition of matrix a u s v hermitian then the more general pseudo inverse and we have shown that it is unique is v s inverse u hermitian the last thing to talk about is that the more below pseudo inverse is related to the least squares problem. So suppose that we are interested in the following minimization problem. We want to minimize the L2 norm squared of AX minus B. A is a given matrix of size M by N. B is a given vector of size M by 1. And X is the vector containing the optimization values. So here the minimization is over X. And X is an N-dimensional complex-valued vector. So we want to solve this minimization problem. Again, we have A, we have B, and we want to find the minimum value of this L2 norm squared. So the claim is that the solution is A dagger B. The solution, the optimal X, so X is A dagger B, minimizes the L2 norm squared. I will show this and then I will comment on the uniqueness of the solution because the solution to this least squares problem is not necessarily unique. Okay, so here is the proof. Let's take this L to norm squared AX minus B. Rewrite AX minus B in this form. I will write A and then A dagger B. A, A dagger B. And then I will write this minus B. Here it is. And then I will write this AX plus AX. Well, this term was not here. And so I need to subtract it, minus A, A dagger B. And then we have the L2 norm squared. Now we have two vectors added together, and then we are taking the L2 norm squared. Okay, so as a reminder, if we have vectors, L2 norm squared. As a reminder, if we have two vectors, U and V, and we are doing the L2 norm squared, this is U plus V Hermitian, U plus V. And so this is U Hermitian U plus V Hermitian V plus U Hermitian V plus V Hermitian U. 
And this U Hermitian U is equal to the L2 norm squared of U, and this V Hermitian V is the L2 norm squared of V. So here, think of this as one vector, and of that as one vector. So this AX minus B, when we do the L2 norm squared, we take the Hermitian of this vector times the vector, and we will get the L2 norm squared of this plus the L2 norm squared of that vector. So AX minus A dagger B squared. And then we have the cross terms. So we have the Hermitian of this vector times this vector. Okay, so I will take A, A dagger B minus B Hermitian times AX minus A, A dagger B. And then we will have the Hermitian of this AX minus A, A dagger B Hermitian. And then we multiply by this, which is, which is A, A dagger B minus B. One of those terms is the complex conjugate of the other. Let's focus on this one here. And this is the complex conjugate of what we will study right now. So here, let's uh, take, in this bracket, let's take A as a common factor to the left. Okay, so I will have A, and then we have X minus A dagger B, and then we have all Hermitian. And in this bracket, let's take B as a common factor to the right. So this is A, A dagger minus identity, and then we have here vector B. And this identity will be of size M by M. Now, if we do the Hermitian here, this is X minus A dagger B Hermitian, and then we have A Hermitian, and then we have A, A dagger minus identity times B. If we focus on these two terms, we have A Hermitian, A, A dagger minus, if we multiply A Hermitian by identity, we have A Hermitian. Recall that from the properties of the Morbin Rose pseudo inverse, A, A dagger must be a Hermitian matrix. So this is a Hermitian matrix. I can write this as A, A dagger, all Hermitian minus A Hermitian. Now we have A Hermitian, and then we have A, A dagger Hermitian. So we can have just one bracket and the Hermitian. We will write this here. So A, A dagger, and then we will write A here. If we apply Hermitian to this, we will give A Hermitian and then A, A dagger Hermitian. From the properties of the morbid rose to inverse, A, A dagger A is equal to A. And so this is A Hermitian. And we have here minus A Hermitian. So this is an all zero matrix of size N by M. So when we do the multiplication, we get, we get zero. And this is the complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of zero is zero. So these two terms are exactly equal to zero. So what do we have here? The conclusion is that the L to norm squared of AX minus B is equal to the L to norm of A, A dagger B minus B squared. So this is this term here. And then we have this term. Now this is a non-negative quantity. So for every x in the n-dimensional complex space, what do we have? We have that this L2 norm squared is superior to this L2 norm squared, indicating that the minimizer of this L2 norm squared is A dagger B. We have equality if the vector here is the O0 vector. So this L2 norm squared is strictly greater than this L2 norm squared if the vector here is non-zero. So we have equality if this vector is equal to the O0 vector. So condition of equality is that AX minus A, A dagger B, so this is A, and in a bracket we write X minus A dagger B, this should be the all zero vector, zero M one. This should be the all zero vector in the M dimensional space. So the condition of equality, which makes vector X the minimizer of the L to norm squared is that X minus A dagger B is in the null space of matrix A. This means that the solution to the optimization problem, the least squares problem, minimize over the n-dimensional complex vectors X of the L to norm squared of AX minus B given matrix A and vector B is X equal to A dagger B plus V, where V is any vector in the null space of matrix A. We have a unique solution a unique minimizer if and only if matrix A has a trivial null space, a null space that contains only the O0 vector. 